Thank you. I would say to the gentleman from Michigan, I am sure there are many Republicans who want to assure good health care to all people. The problem is with this specific bill, a one-page amendment that I offered could have guaranteed these ECRA uh, employees that they face no discrimination among classes of employees and no barrier of pre-existing conditions. That clarification would have solved this problem and their failure repeatedly to accept that one-page amendment with no explanation other than that they wanted to do the same thing or that it was duplicative betrays <laughs> the promise of this bill and suggests that discrimination and denial of coverage based on pre-existing conditions is what Americans in these plans will face. The uh, chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, our colleague from Missouri, closed by saying that his goal is to cut red tape. Well, that's a goal I think all of us can share. But I'm afraid that this bill, as written, will only throw more Americans into the red, into medical debt, which is already high despite the protections that we've provided to date. So many families overwhelmed by medical debt and some who will be uh, denied the opportunity to get the coverage that they, to, that get the protection they need from their health care providers because they simply cannot afford it. Finally, uh, Mr. Madam Speaker, I would say that at the appropriate time, I will offer a motion to recommit to this bill, uh, send it back to committee. If the House rules permitted, I would have offered this motion with an appropriate amendment to the bill. My amendment would ensure that this bill does not take effect unless the Secretary of Health and Human Services certifies that this bill will not result in anyone losing access to coverage of essential health benefits or see their health care costs rise, the very objective that the gentleman from Virginia has just been discussing. At the end of the debate, I will insert into the record the text of this amendment, and I hope my colleagues will join us in supporting it, recommitting this, uh, pursuing the objective of better health care for all and protecting all Americans from pre-existing condition barriers and assuring they are not the subject of discrimination. I yield back. Gentleman from Texas.